everyone, Selena for Who is Jesus Today? And that is uh, the title of this channel. It has been now for over a year. And it's in my heart to continue to introduce the channel in this way. Now that can change, but it hasn't as of yet. And there's a reason for that. And the theme of this channel is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now, I wanted to just update my uh, subscribers and viewers a little more, to, again, about the, um, what is the, say, mission statement of this uh, channel as of now. What it uh, has been now about a year, and maybe, I don't know, maybe a, a year and a few months. Um, it's, I, I'm still quite new at doing live videos, although I've done uh, quite a few of them for uh, friends and family. Um, the Lord had put in my heart uh, to join the world of YouTube, which I wasn't very excited about. I am not one that will just automatically uh, jump up and someone says you want to uh, do a speech or be a public me 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 no but uh, I have learned to become more and more comfortable uh, speaking publicly as well as doing uh, speeches and that's with a combination of school as well as work and business um, and a church and, and the things that are pertaining to God so um, I just every now and then I like to say visit uh, uh, you and just say a little more uh, uh, about me with my agenda. Um, I have uh, tried to make my agenda clear, and even though I have an outline in my in my mind of how I like to address certain uh, topics, um, it's not it's not like a mandate that I cannot go out of it. It's like just to be honest with you, um, if you are looking for um, a channel that not only is a, a Christian based channel but one that will discuss more in depth of uh, political uh, issues and, and trends uh, social issues and trends some of the hot social uh, topics and controversial topics um, uh, say uh, getting into uh, different types of historical uh, struggles. Um, those are uh, topics that I dip and dab in at times as I feel uh, led and if I have I feel I have a word from the Lord but I still I still aim to keep it in the context of the scriptures and I also aim not to put a uh, uh, too much of my own, say, a uh, personal uh, history and life, okay, and my own opinions in it, because I understand that the way I see things and my life experience does not uh, represent a uh, thousands of other people's experience or yours, mine, and so there are some things that I will address. Um, that are, say, happening uh, currently. Even at times, there are some things I come across, certain uh, crimes that happen to really uh, hit me and stand out, and uh, crimes against uh, children, crimes against uh, women, um, the uh, issues of abuse and domestic uh, problems that I feel that the church has to pay more attention to these things and if we want to help our children and our young people uh, more we have to be aware of the uh, topic of relationships um, and who they connect with because I have uh, said that before and um, I have observed this a lot that a lot of times your kids can be raised well in a good home a Christian home and something goes terribly wrong with them and that is the person or the people that they're going to connect to 
in relationships, friends, and especially romantic ones. So there are uh, times I am a person that takes uh, relationships uh, seriously and I really strive and, and I want to help uh, others. And first I begin with, you know, with me, is to uh, uh, strive for healthier relationships. They're not going to be perfect, but healthier. Uh, if they are just uh, a toxic and you don't care and you just let it go on and on and on, it's likely not to end well. And so I am very concerned about human interactions and relationships across the board, across the world, across a culture's race, ethnicity, a culture, and even a, a, across a different beliefs. Um, because I feel like, well, you know, I didn't become a customer, an experienced a customer service person in my earlier days for nothing. It actually has carried me up throughout the life. And, you know, I say that almost anything that we are dealing with when it comes to people, human beings, uh, there's a level of customer service. Yes, it is. What do I actually mean by that? Well, knowing how to deal with certain people from certain places, age range, right? Adults, kids, uh, based on their problems, their struggles, or who they are and where they are in their lives right now. This is not a cookie cut uh, society. And on uh, this channel, I don't have any say cookie a cutter ideology or recipe that when I am say dealing with one I'm dealing with all now there is something we all have in common and that is the human condition of sin and so in some ways when you're dealing with one sinner you're dealing with all all of us are under the fall and that's why I believe on this channel of sin and so the human condition is 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 pretty much a uh, duplicated all over the world in different ways but there's just a lot of different symptoms out there but often it's the same type of issue and I subscribe and prescribe a cure and that's in Jesus and that's what this channel is about who is a Jesus today to me who he can be to you, and even for those who say, well, I, I can tell you, lady, who he is not to me. And I would like to hear that more, and the channel will be going more into that in the future and, and live, and it's not going to be for to have, you know, uh, debates just with uh, people of the faith and Christianity. To be really honest with you, uh, I want to put out this because it just really to me. I'm not so much into at this st a stage in my life on this channel or eager to go back and forth with uh, Christians over particular Bible verses and doctrines. Um, I think that has its place if it's done um, of the right way, but it can also be a great uh, distraction for those who do not know yet who is Jesus. Just imagine yourself, church, standing outside and looking in when you don't believe. There were things about uh, Christianity that uh, really uh, uh, got to me before I, be I became a Christian. And it was at times, I think, uh, I, I, think I, I was trying uh, to separate what was real, what was really authentic. Um, and you're going to find that out more and more from uh, the lives of people who say they are Christians. And so the world is watching church and they, and, and they need to because the Bible has made it clear. The Bible says to judge them uh, by their fruit. So let's not get upset or offended when the world turns and looks at the church and say, uh, you're saying one thing, but you I can do things quite differently. And so I just want to say, that's the theme of this channel, is to stay more 
a Bible of focus to, to uh, refer to the scriptures when I am uh, trying to make a point. Um, you will get my opinions. I have, I, I got some strong opinions. I can be very opinionated, but I also, uh, over time, I, I've learned how to um, not let that go um, before what uh, the Lord wants me to say in His Word. And I won't even go and give you a whole lot of my opinions at times about a scripture. For example, this one actually is standing out to me. James the fourth chapter. God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. That's just the truth. Why? Because I didn't say it. You didn't say it. The word of God said it. And with that, now I will add. And then you may get some of my own uh, say like opinions on that a uh, topic as well because I did uh, put something down because here's what I, I sometimes observe humility isn't weakness on the contrary humility is really strength and it's not superficial strength it's not the strength that we have to work up out of being angry and trying to be tough you see and so God gives grace to the humble so if God is going to resist us in our pride which is an issue for all of us then it really in our pride we're kind of left to ourselves and if we're left to ourselves I know I'll say this I will become more and more weaker at my weakest state and when it's time for me to approach and confront something I'm not going to be as strong as I say would like to be or think I am. Why? Because I'm flowing in pride. That's right, pride. But humility, that's where I find the grace of God. And the grace of God is sufficient for us in our time of weakness. So we live in a world, and that's kind of what this channel I like to focus on. I like to pull apart distortions it's kind of like a milder version of a lie you know how they say people uh, believe a lie for the truth and the truth becomes like the lie uh, to them okay that's uh, more in your face but you know there's a lot of distortion people are distorting things and even in uh, pertaining to God's word someone may think well, this world is getting worse and worse. This is all going on. Where is the place for uh, someone to have a platform where they're trying to be kind and loving and patient and all humble? Well, for the loving, kind, patient, and humble, uh, and not too many of us can... Uh, check them all off at once that's a strong person in God because if it's genuine born of God I don't mean people fake nice false humility no 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 not any of that let's just throw that out but if you really are flowing in God's love and of uh, the kindness of God are, are we going to dare suggest that the kindness of God and the love of God, the goodness of God, pertains to weakness? No, don't we dare. God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. When you and I are deciding to just let pride take over, we're, we are headed into our weakest and weakest state, and we're going about, we're going to usually fall down and, and tumble right over. Pride causes us to make up all kinds of excuses for wrongs. We don't take accountability. We don't take responsibility. And we're often on the run. Uh, we won't be able to even face a, a people without wrongs. Do you know how much gut it takes to say, sorry, I was wrong? I can tell you it takes a lot. If you find that, if you find it, easy out there 
to say sorry to people when you're wrong. You let me know. You let me know. I'm going to be honest. It takes me being humbled. And I don't mean just like, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I did that because you, you see, no. And this is great for healthy relationships. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to take responsibility. My approach, it was wrong. The way I handled that was wrong. The way I handled you was wrong. Oh boy, this is not easy, but I'm feeling already the power of God, the grace of God. And in God's grace is the, all the strength and power that we need. So, on the contrary, which I like to say a lot, because it's distorted. Humility is not about weak, timid people. And some people out there who act like they never get afraid, well, let's just, please be honest. We all get afraid of something or someone. Something can scare all of us. And, that's, and there's no shame and shade in that. The Lord, he lets us know, fear not. For I am with you always, right? So the Lord knows we become afraid. There are certain things that each of us will might be more prone to fear than others. But in that time of fear, and if you are a big strong guy out there, no shame if you feel afraid at times. I mean, yeah, I know. Strong Strong big men can also be gripped with fear. And you know what? You may be a tough out there on the street, but a whole lot of people, they're afraid to just say, sorry, I was wrong. Oh, they can argue you down. They can debate you. They can tell you uh, what they believe, what's their position, what's their political a persuasion and they're all they're like bro wow, this person is brave and strong yeah but they're ready to run when they have to face a someone even maybe their spouse and say I was wrong I'm sorry that's a tough person that's a strong person that's a brave person but that comes in God's grace because God will resist us in our pride but he'll give grace to us in humility I don't mean false humility I don't have, uh, you know, uh, I know people like to use this uh, a term a lot. Um, we all, a whole lot of us, have learned about, say, Gandhi. And so here's a, a very skinny and frail man in India, and he's not uh, eating, and he is depriving uh, himself for a social and a, a political and a religious uh, cause. I won't go into of the details of that but sometimes that gets kind of thrown around well you know um, we're not called to be a Gandhi no I'm not saying no you're not called to try and starve and deprive yourself of to prove that you are humble this is not the humility that the scriptures is saying that's a position in our hearts and that's just a place where we could admit our wrongs we can humble ourselves first, submit ourselves to God, so we can be a humble in the presence of others. Humility, I, I, I know it has, uh, it's, there's, there's really confusion around it. And then you have a people who like to use humble tactics. And they got that, say, wrong too, where if you are appearing to be a strong and positive uh, person, and you're doing well, and that's good. You know, uh, as long as your say heart is right. But then, if someone has the wrong of thinking, or they allow themselves to go on the side of envy and think, well, how come you know their life is so good or easy? But you don't know what they've gone through. But if they're doing well, there are some people. If you, if you're doing well, um, and you seem strong, that means it's time to bring you down some right and so people will use these false say humbling tactics um, because they think that you're now say sitting up there say too much on a pedestal and uh, I mean you know yeah that's not our job to try 
and humble people because really can we we let God humble people we can point out where each of us are lacking in humility um, but say for us ourselves to say well I'm gonna say humble you I think we're out of our place so you go you going to humble me I'm gonna try and say humble you I'm not here to try and humble you <laughs> and bring you down from your pride I'm here to say what God's Word says about how God is going to handle all of us if we are in pride and how God wants to uh, humble us because that is the best place for us to be uh, therefore submit to God resist the devil and he will flee from you when we're in pride we don't have the power to resist the devil as we should because how are you going to resist what you're giving into how are you going to fight fight what you how are you going to fight what you represent <laughs> you know at that time and so if I'm in my pride I, I'm it's not going to be say easy for me to resist the devil or you but in the humility of God by his grace we are empowered and we can stand up against evil the devil and evil people and you may appear to be all easygoing and shy and you stand up against this a, a person because why you would naturally back down and run but you don't have to because you feel the grace of God you have been empowered and you could be in humility and be standing strong and firm as ever and you can say to them I am not going to back down not this time not because you want me to God says it's wrong and it's wrong and that's where I'm gonna stand and you can flow in that and hey they'll be surprised and they and they should be because it is the power of God that works through us that enables us to stand up against the day of evil you want to resist of the devil it's not in your own strength and it's not in our anger it's not in our anger there is a healthy place in anger the Bible says get angry and send not we all get angry there's a, a healthy place and there's a unhealthy place rage is different from anger um, and yeah and so I know that God has helped uh, me uh, more and more to understand I'm not gonna be say tougher if I try to put on my own toughness if I try to uh, handle it in my own strength and if I allow myself to flow in pride and I know you know I I know all about some of this say say a fabricated a uh, toughness you know as I mean anybody out there ever heard of New York tough <laughs> I have sometimes it sounds good but you know something New York tough is not gonna do it for the adversaries for the devil no 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 you don't need it you need the power of God you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit and as God's Word says we are to uh, resist God will he is going uh, say to resist uh, the proud and he's going to give grace to the, the humble so if, if you and me want to stand up to against the works of the devil we need God's grace and we need to humble ourselves so we can be more and more empowered with the grace of God because God says he gives grace grace to the humble so that's how this uh, this is my way of doing things on this uh, channel I'm reminded all the time uh, no more and more I should say not all the time how um, 
I don't have to try and be tough on the outside. I need to allow God to make me tough on the inside. And that is through the place of humility. When you see anything in me that is good and humility and praiseworthy, give the glory and honor to God because it is truly of the grace of God that is working in me and in you out there. And I just wanted to update uh, people that this is kind of what I'm about on this uh, channel. Um, I don't get to say hyped up and trying to prove who's right and who's wrong. Uh, I know there's a lot of uh, people out there and they can do what they want on their uh, channels. I do not uh, control anyone else's uh, platform, but I am responsible for this one. Nor will I allow, say, anyone out there to try and uh, deter or or control, say, this platform and try uh, to push it in a direction where I don't feel that's where God really wants it to go at the time. And so you won't hear me say certain things about a whole lot of people. I don't really care to mention you know their names much, but I can uh, call out the situation and the scenario. I will address it if I feel in my heart to, based on a God's a word. So if you are, are looking for that, of course this, you're not going to really find a whole lot of that on this uh, channel. And if I don't attract those who want that, that's fine. I only want those to really uh, subscribe if that's in their heart uh, to do so. That's just the truth. You know, um, that's just the truth. From uh, five subscribers to 50 to 80 to 90 to 100 to 200, but it would be uh, people that I uh, trust that I felt led. There's always going to be those that maybe they have their other say, reasons and alternative thoughts of why they subscribe. I can't control that either, but you know, uh, I give all that to God. I trust God to be my um, uh, my covering and my protector and to, for him to give me discernment to sense if things are not right. But yeah, um, that's just the way I, I do things here. Um, as far as exposing uh, uh, people out there, there's a, there's a whole lot to expose. You can't, you can't really run out. Um, I'll handle that how God really wants me to. We should expose the unfruitful uh, works of darkness. But I don't have to do it the way someone else actually uh, does it on their platform. They are who uh, they are. And I am who I am. And yeah, that's it. And um, yeah, you know, I'm, <laughs> you know, I, you know, um, I am for not being so much as a, as a representation of being tough on the outside, but I want to be more tougher on the inside. And I know where that's going to come from, from the power of God. Because God will resist me in my pride. But he will give me grace and humility. And I need grace. On top of grace. And whatever I am doing right in God. Let's give God the glory and the honor. And the same for you out there. Because it is his grace. His grace is sufficient for us. And our weakness. And a whole lot of us are weaker than we think. Even if you think you come across really strong and edgy, uh, inside of all of us there is a vulnerable place. And our God can meet us in those places time and time again. Okay? So that's what I wanted to say a little more about. Again, to a refresh you out there of what this channel represents the lady who's been saying who is Jesus today that's a good question I'm not going to stop asking that question at this time uh, I find in the church we have to keep finding out who is Jesus today and um, 
it's my desire. I want to uh, flow in humility, but there's times, yeah, you know, to be a human is to struggle with pride. And I'm not going to deny that. So, um, yeah, I want to give God the glory and the honor. And that's the way things are done here. And for all of you out there who do your platforms uh, differently, to my uh, Christian brothers and, and sisters, so be it. We don't have to be a photocopy of each other. And another thing is that um, there's times when you may actually, like even now, you start to say things and it gets a little twisted. And you can kind of pick that up. Um, I w I'm going to have to say this. I pay attention to things a lot. Uh, I like to listen uh, carefully. There's times I could tell when something is being uh, twisted that's not my intent. I do pick up on these things at times, which is why I, every now and then I come along and I do a refreshment a video of what are my goals, intentions, a little more about me, um, say my agenda, and even some of my struggles. Uh, I, I allow myself to have a level of transparency, but I don't have to open up all of me all at once. That's not safe on social media. I want you to know, by the way, uh, I believe in watching my back because, you know, I grew up in a, an, an environment where I really had to, and that has always been with me. I watch my back on social media. I'm not going to discuss uh, my family members and their names um, and, and you know, where they live and where they work. Uh, no, no. There are certain things. That's, that's why I come across a lot of times, as I, I would say, uh, discreet. Because I am going to keep not only me safe on social media, but those who are connected to my life. And I'm sure they do appreciate it. They didn't ask to be on this channel at this time in social media. This is me. And so I don't share with you about... Um, relatives, about uh, people that live in my community, about who's my enemies, said necessarily, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, uh, there's just a whole lot of things that will not be uh, shared, and that's because I have that right to privacy, um, and you all do, and, you know, social media does make us vulnerable, and if you are a lady, there are some things you have to really pay attention to. So, yeah, that's what I'm all about at this time. And that was just another uh, more in-depth update of, of some things and why I do what I still do on this channel of Who is Jesus Today. Okay, and the love of Christ, I appreciate all of you who visit and subscribe. You can like and subscribe. Until next time. Shalom.